And I've been working on uh, decoding the brain in terms of, of action and movement uh, using non-invasive methods. And um, this is one of the tools we use in our trade. Um, this is a 64 uh, electro cap to acquire um, electroencephalography signals or EEG signals. What you see here is after our subject has been outfitted with the EEG cap to capture the brain signals, we also have to instrument the, uh, the subject to capture their movements as they walk on the treadmill. So here you see an array of LEDs or light emitting diodes that can be captured uh, by sensors to tell us the three-dimensional movements of the legs as the individual walks on the treadmill. We are developing algorithms that uh, basically translate brain activity uh, into motion signals so that we can predict in a millisecond range uh, the patterns of, of leg motion. We uh, believe that the neural representation for action, for real movement, overlaps with the neural representation for perception of movement. And therefore, we can harness the neural activity while you observe visual movement to train our algorithms to predict the, the gait pattern, the, the walking pattern. These, these uh, are examples of the brain signals that we record with electroencephalography uh, from 64 sensors. And I'm very happy to report that, in fact, it is possible to reconstruct the individual trajectories of the ankle, knee, and hip joints, um, in the left and right legs. And, and this reconstruction makes now possible uh, to use these signals uh, to control machines. Those centers of the brain that control walking help a person actually move a robot and perhaps help their own capacity to be able to walk better without a robot. And this may have a tre tremendous effect on their capacity to get around in their daily lives.